Alright, what's going on everybody? I'm Mark with the Erie Better Beer Bureau and we have another blind review for you. And uh, today we got a, the brewery collaboration and it's not with uh, another brewery but a winery. Let's see, Tess Parker Winery and Vineyards. 9.7% sour ale with uh, their Riesling grapes. And uh, Smells wonderful. Let's see what uh, Pat and Maury has to say about this one. A little bit funk. Yeah. I think it's a mead. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, very tart. Yes. And tart on the nose. Lemon. I was going to say mild citrus like a lemon. Mm -hmm. Not quite a like a dish detergent lemon, but... Uh, Ah, uh, that swirl revealed a little, like, you know, half-day worn sock. <laughs> I'd like to disagree with you, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, of course. Yeah, Dave would love this beer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not overly funky like some of those no. big funky Lambics, but there is that little it's element fairly, of fairly funky pungent. Yeah. Yeah. pungency to it. Yeah, citrus funk. It's pretty low on carb, but yet if you hold it to the light, you do see some streams of bubbles coming up from the bottom. And when we gave it a swirl, it fizzed up for us right. pretty, pretty quickly, too. It, it smells dry, you know. Curious to see if it's going to be dry on the taste, but it smells like it's going to be a dry one. Cheers. Sweeter than expected. Yeah. Milder tartness than expected. Much, much. It's almost like a, like a lemon starburst. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more sour than that, but yeah. But the sweetness is much sweeter up front than I expected it to be. It still has that tartness, but that tartness is kind of more on the back end of this beer. It's fairly sweet up front. Yeah, kind of sweet and juicy up front. And tart and dry on the finish. Like, as it takes a second to dry out, but like, I feel like after the sip, it kind of, mm -hmm. the palate dries out. Like a lemon sour patch kid in reverse. Mm. It's actually, like you said before, juicy. It is quite juicy mm -hmm. up front. Yes, it is. It's also very straightforward. Yes, it's, it is. It's, it's it's a nice citrus juiciness sweetness up front. There's a nice mild funk on the back end, and mm -hmm. just kind of fades right out. Yeah, it's not it's not overly com complex. I get some citrus in the way of of lemon, uh, maybe a hint of like an apricot type of you know peachiness to it. Um, it's 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 got a juicy sweetness up front, like we mentioned, uh, kind of a dry finish, and uh, you know I could use a little bit more carbonation on it. Um, mm -hmm. But it's good. For a Mark's Mystery beer, um, I'm guessing it's a it's it's a wild ale or a sour, and it's it's got a mild funk to it, and it's it's very juicy, it's very enjoyable, it's it's very citrusy, uh, but it's also very straightforward, and not a ton of carbonation on it, which is kind of normal for the style too. Um, I can give this beer a four out of five. I'd like more complexity out of it. <clears throat> But it's very pleasant to drink. It's very juicy, it's very tasty, it's sweet, and it has a smooth, mildly funky finish. So I could actually see myself drinking this over the course of a night and being pretty pleased with it the whole time. So I really enjoy it. All right, I'm going to go a little lower. I'm going to give it a three and a half. I, I, I do find it enjoyable uh, like Pat does. I mean, you know, the flavors in this beer are good. Uh, it's a little bit one note, and I don't even mind that... Uh, but I think a little bit more of like a fluffy carbonation would go a long way for me in this beer. Um, it, it, you know, in the tune of 0.25 to a half a point uh, for me. And uh, it's just a little bit too undercarbed. And I think that that would, it, some carbonation I think would wake up the flavors a little bit more. Um, but uh, it, it is a good beer. It tastes good, but I'm going to give it a three and a half. Marcus? Mark, what is this? Okay, well, there's no citrus. Hmm. On the taste there is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled me. All right. This is a collaboration, actually. 
Toronto, oh. the brewery, and a winery. Oh, okay, uh, it's that one. Confession. Huh? Yep, the collaboration confession series. Tess Parker is the winery. There you go. You so know, it's knowing got Riesling grapes. Okay. And is it is the beer actually part wine or is it? You it's, know, it's their sour golden or their sour wild ale with Riesling grapes. Wow, nine point five percent. I never guessed that. No. <clears throat> the bottle says nine point seven. Just saying. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, I heard of this one. I mean, yeah, it's it's a good beer. It if it was, <laughs> you know. It, to me, it almost tastes like a wine. Like the carbonation is more it wine poured, like it than beer like. Champagne. It yeah. Is. So oh. you know, kind of knowing that, you know that that's that's. Uh, it like, is grapey. You're right. Now that yeah, you say yes. that, there is yeah. Venus character to it. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah, it's definitely with, grape. I mean, I'm still getting lemon for sure. So but I, yeah. Is it brewed with riesling grapes or are riesling grapes added or? I had it up. I uh, I'll have to look at it. Sour again. ale with riesling grapes. I bet you. I they, bet you they're probably just added to. It. Well, I would say they take part in the brewing pot process. I would, I would think. Well, we'll have to look it up, and you can clearly we have some homework to do on this one. Right? Yes. But yeah, interesting beer, regardless, yeah. Mark. Thank you very much. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.